Hi everybody! Welcome back to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. The other day I did a video on decoupaging and we did them on paper bags, envelopes, chipboard, some wooden tags. And now I'm back to bring some of those items that we decoupaged and we're going to do some layering. So this is what I call no-nonsense layering. I'm going to go through a few items just to tell you about some that you can use to layer up some of your items and make them look even prettier than they already do. So some of the things that you can use is an assortment and variety of different fabrics and textures of fabrics. And these are some that I have gotten out that I might possibly use when layering up on these tags and uh, envelopes and bags I have here. Got some shiny bling things and so I just picked out a handful that I thought would go with these and I'll decide what I want to put on what when we get to it but I'm just kind of showing you a different variety and they're all different feels or some that's cotton some that's silky some that's a, a, a mesh netting some that's like a uh, very sheer type I don't even know what you want to call it not really organza but anyway <clears throat> so and this is kind of a very, this is all gold lame. So those are different types of fabrics that you can use. You can also use ribbons. Eyelash lace, which is my favorite. I love using these because they're so fuzzy and soft. So you can use those. You can use things like brads. Where when you poke a hole through your object and then you can put those in. So you can use those as an added layer. You can use glitter as an added layer. Glitter glues. You can do Nouveau drops. Buttons. I've got lots and lots of buttons, and this is not even half of them. This is just to show you. You can use distress inks. Little self-adhesive gems. You can even take embossing powder, clear embossing powder, and you can stamp with your Versamark first which is what you're supposed to do on your object and then you sprinkle it with your embossing powder which comes in many colors in this case I would use clear and you can emboss them and make them look even put a great shine to them so there's lots of different things you can do to layer up and you can do them with anything I mean you can find bits of paper and uh, newspapers magazine articles book pages I mean the the possibilities are endless but so just to get started we'll do a few of these um, I'm going to go ahead and show what we had done the other day this was um, an envelope that I actually turned into a tag and this was a small paper bag which actually had the bottom where it kind of comes out like in a rectangular style well I modge podged it so it would just be like a flat bag like that where this bottom part doesn't open up like in a big old square or rectangle I should say and then here's another bag that I had done the other day it's the one side and the other side and then we did some puppies so I was really excited about those and I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to work on the bird first we'll do a couple you get the general idea and then you can take whatever creations you make and you can do the same thing with whatever you choose to pick all right so what i'd like to do is i'd like to put a little bit of 
shine on this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my image with Versamark, which gets it wet with the stamp. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle some embossing powder on it. I'm going to do it with my fingers. I probably should have uh, actually the best thing to do with this is to put it on a napkin or a piece of wax paper or something because I don't want to waste my embossing powder and I can just sprinkle it on here. get it all over and kind of spread it around and tap the excess off onto your paper and put that to the side real quick this way you don't waste any of it It's not that it's overly expensive, but you don't want to have to buy it all the time e e um, either. <laughs> if I could talk. <laughs> that up a little bit. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to take your heat gun to it. So for the embossing, you do have to have a embossing heat tool. Um, I got mine for like uh, 20 bucks, maybe 15, 20 bucks. But no more than 20. And so bear with me a second. I'm going to uh, dry this. And you'll be able to see how it starts turning shiny. After the heat hits it. On the embossing powder itself. I just really, really like the clear embossing powder. I just love the added shine that it gives to an object. What it does is it like crystallizes. You don't want to get it too close to your paper because you don't want to set it on fire. I have actually almost done that a few times. There we go. It also hardens it, makes it more tough, more durable. So see how it gives that glossy shine? Whereas if you look at the other side, I mean it's shiny, but not like, not like that side. That side is just, it's got that nice sheen to it. And like I said, that's like baked on there. So this just gives us more durability. All right, so I put a little extra shine on it that I wanted. And then what I'm going to do is I really like this gold lame. I also like this orange. And I also like that yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut me a few pieces of this fabric. And we're going to attach it onto here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not sure how big I want it. Like half that size. And 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue, and I like to use Fabri-Tec on any of the um, fabrics that I'm attaching to something else. So I'm going to put some on that so that it stays down really nice. I'm going to put it like right about here. And then I'm going to do the orange mesh next. So I'll get a piece of that. And what I'll probably do is double that. So I'll put a little bit of glue on top of this. Scoot it up in frame. Sorry about that. layer one layer on top of that actually I'm going to put two layers on it because it's not real super dark but I want it to be noticed Let me even put a little bit more there we go it kind of hangs over the gold that's no big deal and you can just add as much as you want and make it you know whatever you are happy with okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get those out of my way since i've used those and then i'm going to put the yellow now i've got this really pretty yellow flower look at that flower i wonder what that would look like on there so you know what we're gonna do i am going to Cut this flower out. This little flower medallion in the middle of this piece of fabric. And I wonder if I would like that on there. Now there's like a little bit of pink right there, so that might look okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to tear at the fabric around it and fray that out. See how it gives like little I don't know if you can see it. It's giving that fabric some little frayed edges. And I want that to hang out as well. In fact, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more of the orange. Because this medallion's pretty big. And I still want to be able to see some of this orange netting hanging out. So I'm going to try to add just a little bit more. And see what I think. Give us some little pieces here. And I'll maybe go over here a little bit. Maybe a little piece right here. And a little tiny piece over here. And I am probably going to have just enough glue to finish this project. And then I'm going to have some buy, have to buy some more of this Fabri-Tec. Because I am about out. I use it quite a bit. So there you go. This little frayed edge as it fell off that I pulled off. Well, actually, that I pulled off. I'm going to go ahead and let them fall on there as well. Because that would be kind of little extra added layers too. Just little fibers. Alright. Then I'm going to get the Fabri-Tec on the medallion itself. And I am just hoping and praying that I have enough glue to do this. I don't have that much I need to glue on for this video. But, my luck... I usually try to keep an extra bottle on hand, but I didn't this time, so. Alright, so that's going to go like in the middle. Maybe off to the side a little bit. There we go. So I think that looks really, really pretty. I really, really think it does. And I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in the top of it. So that I can... And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this fabric. And I'm going to make a tie with this fabric. 
if I if it'll tear. Let's see, will it tear? Nope, I'm just gonna have to cut it then. It's pretty tough. Too jaggedy. And I'm going to take this and wrap it. Try to stick it through that hole. And if you wanted to, you could stick a bead on here um, or a button. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at this because this fabric is really pretty. And there's actually a little bead on this if. When I tie it, you still can see it. Yep, you can. There it is right there. A little tiny one. So there you go. Got a beautiful, beautiful tag. And you have layers to it. And it's even prettier than when you first started. And you can do the back of it too. As far as, I wouldn't, you know, layer up the back. But I would probably add the decoupage to it. And, uh make it shiny as well and make it match which I'll do off screen I'm not going to do it now but and you can even go in and take some uh, like uh, like for instance these Nuvo drops you could sit there and take these and then some of these little orange spots that are on there you could take and maybe put a little bit of color in the middle of those flowers which I think I'll do real quick this is these little dots. I'm going to put some in the middle of the dots. And we'll see what that looks like. I think I might like that. I think I am glad that I decided to do that. So that kind of adds to it as well. Let's see here. There we go. Oops. There we go. There. It adds a little something extra to it. I just think it's absolutely fabulous. I love it. It's like one of my favorites. I know it's going to be one of my favorites. Alright, then the next one we will do is we're going to do these puppy dogs. And what do I want to do to that? I think what I'm going to do with this one is first of all I'm just going to punch my hole for my string or whatever I decide to use. And I had some other things in mind for this one. Oh, I know which one it was. Let's see if I can find it now. Here it is. I really liked this burgundy and off-white checked. And I was, because it's right here in the napkin. So I was going to do some of that, but I'm going to do it off to the side. Now it might cover this one puppy a little bit, but that's all right, because I've got all the other puppies too. So, and I believe he's on the other side. Oh, no, he's not. Well, you know what I think I'll do? Hmm. I could always put it up here off to the side. Let's see what we, let's just see. Hang on a second. Let's just take a look here. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other fabric. I'm going to go ahead and fray it up a bit. Just pull on it and get the threads hanging out because it makes it look really cool. I love little bits of thread fibers hanging out. It's just really pretty. Just kind of adds something to it. So, i do that. And let's see. I think I am going to go ahead and just cover that one. Or do I want to do this side? I could do this side. I think I'll do this side. That way that other puppy doesn't get covered up. And you can still see the bits there. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. So, I'm going to get some glue down here. I 
have to really really squeeze it is just I mean like I said it is darn near out crossing my fingers guys so they can finish this finish this finish 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 I'm gonna go ahead and stick those fibers on top that had fallen off of the fabric just so those kind of hang out and then what else can I add to it thought I might have had something else for it, but I can't remember what I was going to use. I think what I will do is I'm going to use uh, da, 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 da. maybe some of this eyelash lace to hang out. care about the little ducky right there. I'm going to add some more right there. So that way it's a little bit more sitting there. And then I'm going to add some more glue. And I am going to add these fibers here. But I want to go ahead and all of them so I'm just gonna put a little bit there so I think that looks really cute so we've got some fibers we got a bit of fabric um, let's see I don't think really any of those go with it so we could either um, we could either put a button there, which I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick out a button, and I think I know exactly the one I want if I can get it to come out. I've just seen it, which is why I decided to do it. And I just hope I can find the one I was looking for. This wasn't the one I was looking for. It was smaller. And of course, as soon as I go to grab for it, I'm not going to be able to find it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna jump some out here and see if I can find it. As I have a specific one that I want. That's if I can find it again. It's really aggravating when I, you find what you want and then you can't find it again. Like for instance, when you stick stuff on your desk. This wasn't the exact one, but it would still look cute on there. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I could do brown. Let's see what will look better. Brown or... Or like that one. No. I wonder if that would... What do you think that would look like? Or that one. I really want something to make it pop. I don't think this one. I think there's a dark brown one. Let's see if I can find a dark a dark brown one, but one that's not real big. Let's see if that one works. I think the darker burgundy is the one I'm gonna go with. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that fiber onto there. these little fibers just trying to get them all off my table and throw them onto the thing but now my fingers are sticky and they're wanting to stick to it you don't want that all right so I'm gonna put a drop right in the middle of that And then I'm going to put my button. And I'm going to push it down like that so the glue comes up out of the little holes. Okay. 
And then there's a little bit of blue back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit. One little dot of Nuvo drops right in the middle of the button. Just because there's some blue over there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use... Let's see. I kind of like... I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this for the tie. For the top of this one. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to double this. And put it through the hole. Sure, it's about even. I'm gonna go to tie it. And voila, there you go. I got some nice fuzzy eyelash lace for the tassel. You can even add more if you want. In fact, uh, let's do that. Let's add one more strand. Let's make it nice and Nice and full. Double it again. And stick it through there. Oops. And this is a little bit shorter than what I did before. But that's alright, because then it'll have layers. Layers of it. There we go. And you can't see the the hole really anymore. And there you go. Let's see if I can bring that up a little closer. Oh uh, yeah, I think that one turned out really pretty as well. So there's our there's that one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do this bag. And earlier, I didn't do this side, but earlier I had started and I actually put glitter on here. And that's as far as I got on that one. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and use some gems. And I'm going to put these in the middle of these ones that aren't brown. So there's some extra sparkle. Let's see, there's not too many. I'll just go ahead and do that on this one too. So I'm gonna add some rhinestones throughout. I think what I'll do though is I get, I'll probably tear it now. These things attach pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is as I go up the bag, I'm going to have these get smaller. So we'll put that one like that. And I very well could have put some eyelash lace behind it too, but I just decided not to. I'll put one there. And we'll put a tinier one up here. And just to even it out, I think I'll put two small ones down here. I just don't want them all the same. There. So we'll do that. So I've got glitter on there. And then I've got this uh, the little adhesive gems. And then I'd like to add a little something else to it. Um, I really like this red. like lame looking so i'm going to use a chunk of it i also like this this gold i'm wondering if i want to use that that gold <laughs> i think i do but i am going to use right here I'll 
pull around. Right, some of the edges. There we go. my red together maybe I mean I am fighting with this glue guys and I guess I could always uh, I can always change but I'd rather not now this fabric I'm kind of trying to glue together because I really want it to be thicker so it stands out well there we go so there's that and then if I put that on top of it so put a generous amount of glue on this side and there we go stick that on there Then on top of this, to bring that out, I could probably put another rhinestone. And I'm going to want to glue that. Because... It won't want to stay on. There we go. like to have a little bit of that of, um, of this fabric still gone so I'm gonna just pick it up a little bit and clip the clip the corners a bit oops hit my buttons This is actually a paper bag, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to add to it. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It's got a lot going on. I don't really think you need to add too terribly much more to it. Um, so there you go. No nonsense layering. You can use almost anything, and I mean anything. It seems like, <clears throat> excuse me, it seems like it would be hard, but it's really not. I mean, like I said, there's so many things that you have at home in your craft room, and I probably haven't even touched on half of what you could use. So just use your imagination, and um, there you go. And I know you guys will come up with something awesome. So anyway, I really appreciate you joining me tonight, and if you like my video, please subscribe share ring the bell and don't forget that life is a journey and not a destination bye guys